within the revolution, there are counter revolutionaries. There are charlatans who would want to see ZANU-PF in chaos, who would want to see the president and the, those who follow him at Lugaid. And maybe I'm a target for this time. They want to see my downfall. They want to see my name swelled. I'm not only a supporter, I'm also a disciple of Robert Mugabe. And again, as his appointee, I'm his apostle, if you want. So why would I order something that is no direction like that? Those who know how I conduct myself, how I defend my party, how I defend my leadership and the revolution, would not see me going against the policies of Zambia. So I don't drink beer. So I don't uh, smoke weeds or something. That I can then do things without my conscience focused. So I didn't do that. And uh, I hope, God willing, those people will be known one day. And I also try, in my rudimentary way, to look for those people who are trying to fight me, so that I fight back. There's another meeting I was chairing at this office. There has been a lot that I've read in the newspapers. And somewhere, somewhere, there is somebody who is manufacturing stories creating stories, creating fights that I have with people that I don't know. So, whoever did that statement must stop and stop now. I also want to encourage the law enforcement agents to look at these people who would want to swell innocent Zimbabwe's images. I don't deserve that. I've been in this game as a politician from as a, I was a toddler. I'm a revolutionary. I don't just support nonsense. Whatever I do, I do it after thorough examination. So for that man, Arajim Gabi, I support him. And I support him as a person, as my family, as organization that I lead, Zilwako. We support him. They should allow Zanu PF to live. It gave us freedom. It gave us the peace that we have today. And creating hedges between people, either for your own personal benefit or for whatever motives that we have, it's wrong and devilish. That's what I wanted to say. I'm very bitter.